I want to show you a little program that I use all the time. It's called Opsion Font Viewer. Let's open it up. Now Opsion Font Viewer will show you all the fonts that are installed on your computer. Its default value is 10 fonts per screen. I've got over 500 fonts on my computer so I like to change this number to 100 and now I can see a hundred fonts on my screen at one time. I can scroll through them. I can go to the next hundred fonts by clicking this button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. These are a little bit small so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to increase the size oh, to about a 36 that's better I can see those better now the next thing I want to do is I want to change the sample text to my own text and I can do that by going over here to file set sample text now here's a tip that you might not know about if you hold down the alt key and on the numeric keypad not the numbers at the top of the keyboard type in 0169 and then release the alt key the copyright symbol is displayed on the screen uh, you can do this for other characters also and at the bottom of this video I've put a link where you can see the alt codes for different characters now what I want to do is create a copyright watermark so I've got the copyright symbol and I'm going to put in here uh, losephotos.com and click OK and now my sample text is showing losephotos.com. Opsion has a favorites tab and what I can do is I can go through and I can choose the fonts that I want to put in the favorites tab. So I can go through here and I can click on these different fonts and let's see let's go down here and see if we got a nice bold one. This one looks nice and bold and we've got one down here that's um, kind of nice too. So now if we go up and we click on our favorites tab and click on one of these fonts over here we can see all of the fonts that we put into that tab. As you move your cursor over each of these fonts it'll pop up a window that tells you what the font name is and all you have to do when you're in your graphics editor is choose that particular font and you're good to go. Let's use Internet Explorer to install Opticon. Click on Internet Explorer and then go up to your URL bar and type in opticon.sourceforge.net SourceForge is a very reliable site for freeware and my first choice when I'm looking for free programs. Once you have this screen up come over and click download on the next screen come down and click on Opsion Font Viewer 1.1 and then click on Opsion Installer.exe you can disregard this screen SourceForge wants you to register but that is not necessary click on run yes to user account control and then your Opsion font viewer setup wizard will appear we'll click next we'll use the default setting for the installation and yes we do want to put an icon on the desktop and in the start menu programs folder so we'll click next and then click install and only take a second or two for this to install Opsion is a pretty small file click finish and close and then you're done 